When I first got on TikTok a year and a half ago, I knew I had to figure something out. Like, why am I on here? You know, and there used to be a pentagram here, so I'll just do this. This is my passion, and this is my purpose, right? So, why do I have this, you know, why do I say that? I control my own narrative. I see people who just out, outright piss me off. And, uh, and the problem is, in today's etiquette of social media, one would simply go into another person's domain and rebel rouse. And I did that for a little bit. But that's kind of like, I hate to say it, but 90s and 2000-ish. The best way to actually get a message across is simply do your own thing. And the crowd that you amass are the people that think or agree in the same level. And at that point, there's your following. I've seen this before with other people's lives, where I see someone who I would say is a knucklehead. And... But the crowd that that person brings in are other knuckleheads. So let the knuckleheads rejoice. And then when you go off and you see someone else who is pseudo-intellectual, who do they bring in? Other pseudo-intellectuals. So the collectives that are amassed in TikTok, as an example, are basically collectives of the mind. And the funny part is it doesn't mean... Your walk of life will define your collectives, but rather how one thinks, how one uh, addresses situations. So when people literally give up on TikTok or any other social media because of others, it's simply put, they don't do themselves. To put it quicker... They're not being Satanists. Because if you truly do you, you have no other worries in the world about the level of opinion directed at your direction or other. That's why I'm an independent philosophical Satanist and a pantheist. But I'm always a Satanist. And I don't follow a singularity such as a particular ideology, church, temple, or other. Control your bubble. Control your atmosphere. And most of all, find your center and live it.